Hi, I'm Tom Crawford, and today we're going to give you a little tour of the new South Pole Station. Now, I say new South Pole Station because this structure is uh, not even fully complete, and it was started a few years ago to uh, replace the original South Pole Station, which is this uh, geodesic dome structure you see here, and it, which was begun in uh, 1957 as the first permanent settlement here at the geographic South Pole, which you can see is ceremonially marked with a striped pole surrounded by flags of signatories of the uh, Antarctic Treaty. Now the station is primarily a shelter from the elements for the people who have to do work down here. So the first thing we're going to show you is where we sleep. And as you can see by the sign next to me, we have to be a little quiet here because people are sleeping at all hours. We work in three shifts down here at the pole, day shift, night shift, and swing shift. And so there's always someone sleeping. And in a minute, we're going to go in and take a real quiet look at the rooms. So this is my room. A little small, as you can see, but cozy, comfortable, a little messy, just like home. We're on our way now into probably the most important room in the new South Pole Station, the galley. People say that uh, food is probably the number one component in morale and the food at this place keeps our morale sky high. You see behind us some of the most important people at the South Pole Station, the chefs at the galley. We're here now in the South Pole Station greenhouse, which provides occasional fresh vegetables for us to eat up at the galley, but much more importantly provides a place for people to sit and commune with some living green things which are a stark contrast to the barren white landscape outside. Now, if you could actually be here with me, you'd be amazed at how lush, green, and beautiful smelling this space is, which again is a great contrast to the fairly dead environment we're in most of the time. And of course, there's a full workout facility on station as well, <sighs> which includes a full basketball court. One of the truly great resources on site is the South Pole Station Activity Room. There's a dazzling array of high quality musical equipment here that we can amuse ourselves with and without disturbing the neighbors. We're not quite ready for prime time yet, but maybe by the end of the season. And last but not least, we have the South Pole Station Sauna. So I'm here doing that age-old South Pole practice of having a schwitz. But you know, it's getting a little warm in here, and I think it may be time to go cool off and close up those pores a bit. So come on. Ah, now that's brisk. Well, I hope you enjoyed our South Pole Station tour today. Thanks a lot to Jeff McMahon for filming. Thanks to you for watching. I'm Tom Crawford, and see you next time.